Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of integration. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that if integral of x raised to 5 e raised to minus x square dx is g of x into e raised to minus x square plus c. So this is the entire thing given where c is the constant of integration. Then we have been asked to find g of minus 1. So that is the entire thing we have been asked. And if I talk about the answer choices, it is given to us as 1, minus 1, minus 5 over 2, and minus 1 over 2. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question given to us. So if I try to solve this integral x raised to 5 a into e raised to minus x square dx, I understand first of all that I should substitute x square as t. So if I substitute that x square as t, let's say, you take the derivative that is 2x dx, which is dt. So your integral basically gets split as, so I can split this x raised to 5 as x raised to 4 into x. So your derivative, in this case, you have x dx, which is dt over 2. So your new integral becomes x raised to 4. x raised to 4 is nothing but t square. So you get that as t square. You have e raised to minus t. And instead of dx, so 1x and 1 dx, I'm using it to write it as dt over 2. So you have that entire integral now. So half integral of t square e raised to minus t dt. So if I just use the idea of the product rule of integration, integral u into v dx is u integral v dx minus derivative of u into integral v dx. And this entire bracket is also integrated again. So if I use this idea, I get this half. In this case, I know if I use the idea of lie 8, t is nothing but an algebraic function and you have an exponential function e raised to minus t. So this becomes u and this becomes v. And if you solve this further, you get this as t square integral e raised to minus t dt minus derivative of t square, which is 2t into integral of minus t e raised to minus t dt. That whole big integral is also derivative. So it is also integrated with respect to dt. So if I further try to solve it, I get half t square e raised to minus t's integration is e raised to minus t divided with the coefficient of t that is minus 1 minus 2 integral of t and again e raised to minus t, it's e raised to minus t over minus 1 dt. So further if I try to solve it, you get half minus t square e raised to minus t. Minus and minus becomes plus, so plus 2, integral of t e raised to minus t dt. So you have this entire thing now. Again, if I apply the idea of product rule, you get half minus t square e raised to minus t plus 2, integral of again u into v. So you get u integral v minus big integral, derivative of t which is 1 into integral of e raised to minus t dt. So if I solve this, you get half minus t square e raised to minus t plus 2 t e raised to minus t over minus 1 and minus 1 integral, big integral and integral of e raised to minus t is again e raised to minus t over minus 1. This is again integrated with dt, so you get this as half minus t square e raised to minus t minus 2 t e raised to minus t and here you get plus an integral of e raised to minus t which is e raised to minus t over minus 1. The whole thing with plus c which is constant of integration. So further if you solve it you get half if you multiply inside you get minus t square e raised to minus t over 2 minus 2 over 2 this cancels with this 2. So you get this as t e raised to minus t 
and then if you take this again inside you get minus half e raised to minus t so you have that idea again but if you see here we had this two multiplied with the whole bracket so you should have this two multiplied here as well and once you multiply it here you have two here as well so two multiplied with half this cancels out again and you get again e raised to minus t so if you see if you take out minus sign common you are left with t square over 2 plus t plus 1 and e raised to minus t plus c so if i resubstitute this t as x square you get minus this becomes x i have put t as instead of x square so i will resubstitute t as x square so it basically becomes minus x raised to 4 over 2 plus the next part becomes x square plus 1 and you have e raised to minus x square plus c now what is the question telling us is integral of this entire thing is nothing but g of x into e raised to minus x square plus c so if i compare it i get g of x as minus x raised to 4 over 2 plus x square plus 1 so if they are asking you to find g of minus 1 as well it becomes minus of minus 1 raised to 4 which is nothing but 1 over 2 minus 1 squared it's also 1 plus 1 so you get that as minus 1 plus 1 is 2 and 2 plus half is 5 over 2. so you get this answer turning out to become g of minus 1 as minus 5 over 2 and if you see the answer choice that matches with which option it matches with option c so c becomes the correct answer for the question given to us i hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions which deals with the ideas of integration so first we substituted x square as t we got x dx as dt over 2 and your entire integral in terms of t got converted in terms of t square into e raised to minus t into dt over 2. Now once you got that you just applied the product rule and solved it further. You applied the product rule two times and you got the answer turning out to become minus of in the bracket t square over 2 plus t plus 1 into e raised to minus t plus c. So if you further resubstitute t as x square, you got it in terms of x square. And from there, by comparison, you got g of x as minus of this entire bracket. And since you have to find g of minus 1, you put everywhere x as minus 1. And that turns out to become minus 5 over 2. So that, if you see, matches with option c. So c becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on 11, 12th as well as JEE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, please do like the videos as well. Do share the videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JEE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis also subscribe to my channel i'll see you again tomorrow with some other video thank you